What's going on guys, Yellow Fella here. As you can tell by the shirt, this is my new merch lineup. If you like it, hey Yellow Fellow. Just send it on the back, has me on the back. I just plugged merch in a video, I'm an asshole. What's going on guys? Yellow fella here. And if you've seen my previous videos, you know something I don't normally do is put my face in the video. But today we're doing that. It's more personal for you guys. It's more easy for me to film. And it's kind of less boring. I'm not that ugly. That's not the reason I wasn't doing it in the past. I think it's just because privacy issues and all of that. It's just the way I started. Um, but we're going to switch it up a little bit. I'm still going to be my same crazy self, but it's going to be a little bit more family friendly um, in all my future videos as well as this one. Um, you'll be able to see by the film style and the things that I do in this video how I've decided to change my channel up. But I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, let's get started. So let's focus on what's important. Today we're doing a Detail Guys product review. I have a few products that I want to check out. I've been using their things for a while, but I've just now gotten around to a review. If you watch my latest videos, you'd be able to see in my phone video that I did use Detail Guys once before. Today he's got some different stuff for me to try out. So I'm going to show you guys just a little bit of a um, kind of review on things. I mean, you're, it's not hands-on, but the best I can. Um, I'm going to wash the car. It's going to be a pretty neat video. So right now we're going to move the car. So I know you guys are going to want to hear a cold start since I got the headers installed. So let's do do it. Be performing this review on my 2017 Dodge Charger Daytona as you can see right here pretty damn dirty um, we have our car shampoo we have our interior cleaner our waterless wash our all-purpose cleaner and our wheel cleaner I'm gonna be going over what these products are and how to use them each so I'm just gonna start off with what's in the box it came with all of the bottles four spray nozzles and then one tiny cap for our car shampoo which is different so the first product we're gonna be using is the waterless wash Waterless wash, I must say, um, I've used in the past, and this is new because it's never smelled like this. I gotta say, this is absolutely amazing. It smells like a creme brulee vanilla, so the reason I'm using this first is because the car is not going to be dirty once we wash it. So the waterless wash, basically what it is, is it's to pick up more heavy dirt. It has extra lubricant, not to be confused with the detail spray, which is used after cleaning your car for an extra shine. The waterless wash has an extra lubricity in it. So when you're washing your car um, without water, you don't wanna scratch your paint. So when you use the waterless wash, it's supposed to pick up those micro contaminants like dust or dirt or anything like that, grime. So we're gonna use it first and just basically show you how to use it, what kind of sample you're gonna come out with, and then we'll get into washing the car. So you wanna actually use this product on a surface that's mildly dirty and not completely filthy. My car is pretty soiled because I've been driving a lot, but basically what we're gonna do right now is just gonna attempt it on there. So we'll drop down right here. You wanna completely cover around where you're gonna be wiping. As you can see, the dirt just kind of falls off. That's the purpose of the waterless wash. You don't need to use this much product. I'm just being thorough. Right now, you're gonna take a clean rag um, or your clean microfiber. You wanna have no tag. And we're gonna take it and we're just gonna do a little wipe. You wanna go in straight lines. And then you can see that's what your towel's gonna look like. You would flip and then go to a new surface every time. But it's gonna leave your car looking about like this and no water was required to clean the surface of that. Waterless wash is the most effective way to remove light to medium surface dust, AKA what I was just talking about, fingerprints, other minor surface con contamination without harming your clear coat. So if you live in a state where water is limited, basically waterless wash is gonna be great. Or if you go to a car meet and you're in a pinch, waterless wash is gonna be your guy. So right now I have some light pollen on my hood. I'm also gonna try it out on vinyl just for you guys. My car is loaded with vinyl, so I am gonna spray down a quick surface right here just to demonstrate what it would do. Clean surface, vinyl doesn't really matter. You're not worried about digging into anything. We're just gonna do a quick wipe. We're gonna go up, not terrible, go down. This isn't like a wax or a detail spray where it would stick to your vinyl. It is just a waterless wash. So as you can see, no residue was left behind and all of the pollen is gone. So if you could look at one side, look at the other side, this is what the waterless wash did. As you can see, no fingerprints are being left. Everything's clean and this is what I am going to use in a pinch. So I always keep this in my trunk or keep it on hand just in case because it's so handy. So one thing you want to keep in mind in using waterless wash, paint is soft. So when you're going to use waterless wash, 
See, I take my rag and fold it multiple times as you can see here. You wanna keep folding it and you can use usually about eight swipes out of a rag. You're gonna to wanna to keep flipping to a different surface. If you don't know exactly this method I'm talking about, go look at one of Honest COCD's waterless wash methods and he'll basically go over it. You wanna have several rags for this if you're using this the primary clean on your car and you're not using water. Um, I'm just using it for a few surfaces right now, hence why the, I only have one rag right now. I was just kind of giving you guys a sample. Here's one on vinyl and on paint and you can kind of see how the dirt just kind of drops off. You don't have to use this much product every time. So using straight lines, you want to take it and you want to grab about right here and just run across. So you can see the difference that the waterless wash makes on the paint. So you're looking at a 50-50 right here. This is one swipe with waterless wash and then this is the before and you can see how dirty our rag got. So what you would do is you would flip this to a new surface and you can either go in straight lines side to side or up and down. You never want to use circles on your paint. I'm pretty sure every person who has any kind of experience with detailing would know this, but this is about what you're looking at. So that's waterless wash. Let's get started on our other products. So the next product we're going to start off with is our wheel cleaner. Their wheel cleaner specifically says wheel cleaner is a non acidic formula. So a non acidic formula would be like something you don't have to leave on your wheels for 30 seconds, 40 seconds without it eating anything. I have used acidic stuff on my wheels before and my rims are resistant to it. But as you can see, my aftermarket lugs, they were not too happy about it. So I do have to get those replaced in the future. That's what this would not do. It says safe on all wheel types because it is non acidic. Spray and allow for the ingredients to do all the work for you with no harsh chemicals or odors. It will bring your wheels back to that showroom shine. So no harsh chemicals. Instructions, simply spray on wheels. You can do it um, wet or dry. I did talk directly to the owner of Detail Guys. Allow the formula to work, then pressure wash away. Dry with plush microfiber towel for best results. If the wheel is heavily soiled, agitate with microfiber to loosen the dirt and grime, which was why we have a wheel brush that I am going to be using today. This is not from Detail Guys. Um, it is some uh, other detail company. So the first thing what you're going to do is you're going to designate yourself a wheel bucket. I have a wheel bucket right here. I'm going to go ahead and fill with water right now. So once your wheel bucket is filled up, what you're going to do is you're going to take all the tools you're going to use that are necessary. I have a tire scrubber. I have a microfiber mitt for the towels, which I'll demonstrate how to use that. I have a brush right here just for the wheels and I have a smaller detailing brush. So in detailing, most of the time it's good to have three buckets, one for your soap and then one for your rinse bucket. Um, the other one you're going to have is you're going to be your wheel bucket. I currently have two buckets. One of mine got lost. I don't know how, don't ask me why. I'm in the process of getting a new one. So the same bucket I'm going to be using for my rinse bucket is going to be my wheel bucket. So what you're going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of the car shampoo and I'm going to put about two ounces to add some lubricity to the wheel bucket. Um, so our wheels, you know, it avoids like scratching and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in, use about two ounces or so and that'll just lube it up a little bit. I'll get into the car soap here in a little bit once we start washing down the car. But right now we're gonna get into our wheels and let's get started. So starting on the wheels, I'm basically going to wet the wheel and every surface around it so I don't get any of the cleaner on the paint. It's non acidic so it's not that bad. You also wanna wet your concrete because any wheel dust that does get on your concrete can stain or damage your concrete. The reason I'm not using a pressure washer yet is because I use a water hose for my wheels most of the time because they don't get that grimy now that I since I put my new brake pads on there. So not that much wheel dust as you can see already. But we're gonna go ahead and try this product out. They were pretty soiled when we started so let's see how it finishes out. So I just sprayed the wheel cleaner on. We're gonna leave it on for about two minutes. Um, I have my stopwatch going, and then we're gonna spray it off and see how it does afterwards. He said that you can leave it on for any allotted amount of time you want. So I could go around and spray all the wheels and then come back and come back over it. Already after two minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and just smear my hand on the wheel, see if we can't get some of that dirt and grass and nastiness on this. Hardly nothing, just from the wheel cleaner itself being sprayed on and sprayed off. However, I am going to get to work on these wheels myself. So let's go ahead and get started. So upon further inspection, basically we're gonna check out the wheel. So I have clean hands, no dust. We're gonna go all around. We're gonna go from the back. We're gonna go in the wheel well. Let's go all around here. Let's even touch on my brake caliper. As you can see, are kind of faded as well because I've suffered in the past from acidic wheel cleaners. Like I said, do not use them. But the whole wheel is clean, as you can see, given that glossy shine, I'm gonna go ahead and rub the tire as well. No black whatsoever, and we are good to go. That is one wheel, so we're gonna finish up all the wheels in the car, and then we're gonna move to our next product. All right, so we're finishing up the last wheel right here, as you can see, and we're about to get started on our next product, which is the all-purpose cleaner. He's got the paintbrush out right now. <laughs> you look like Bob Ross. Who's that? 
You don't know who Bob Ross is? No, dude. Bob Ross. Live under a rock. If she doesn't know who Bob Ross is, she's too young. So next we're gonna be using our all-purpose cleaner from Detail Guys, it's purple. All-purpose cleaner APC is a non-acid degreasing formula, so it's used for heavy stuff. I have lots of brown around here, so we're gonna use this right now and see if we can take that off. Also, I'm gonna use this on my exhaust tips and we'll put it to the test. So I just rinsed that wheel off and while I'm waiting for it to dry, I figured I'd test it on the exhaust tips. I was wondering why it was a little awkward to put on. That's because I didn't have the spray nozzle on. I was sitting there pouring it on there like an idiot. I don't know what's wrong with me. That's just something that I do every once in a while. Everybody has a goofy gaffer laugh in a spoof. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna spray this on the exhaust tips right now. As you can see from my other exhaust tips, very black, very neglected. Never um, wash my exhaust tips hardly. I kind of wish they worked black, so uh, I don't wash them. That's pretty ratchet. As you can see, just from spraying so far, we um, already exposed some of the chrome. Let's take a quick swipe with our finger. See, pretty greasy, pretty nasty. So let's go ahead and spray a little bit more. Let's go ahead and wipe this off with a rag. I'm gonna go ahead and get up in here. I'm gonna go around, one quick swipe, and look at that. That's with all-purpose cleaner, and that's pretty disgusting. So I'm just gonna wipe the rest of this off, and look how gross. And this is just from the all-purpose cleaner. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around to expose a semi-clean surface. I'm not that worried about scratching them since they're exhaust tips. I'm gonna get a little bit up in here, spray inside. I'm just gonna do a quick in and out. Ooh, look how gross. That's what a 6.4 liter Hemi will give you. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna finish degreasing these and then I'm gonna give you a finished product. As you can see, this is the exhaust tip after it is cleaned. So go ahead and take a quick look in that. This is the inside and outside, nothing on my finger. So on the before, you can see absolutely how disgusting it was. Let me just take a quick swipe here. I didn't even put any pressure at all and that's how disgusting. So definitely see that that works. Also, the all-purpose cleaner can be used for the bottom of your side skirts, the bottom of your bumper, anything greasy, nasty, you don't really want to get into with your other products. Basically, you can use the all-purpose cleaner, and that's going to degrease and get all of this heavy grime and road dust off. So the all-purpose cleaner did a decent job of taking all the brown off the tires. When it dries, there still is a little bit of brown, but mostly it is gone. Um, I think it's just the type of tire I have. I don't think it's anything related to the product. These tires have a browning issue. They are Turo AZ850, so sometimes, um, you know, I have to look around for a product to do something different. But other than that, it does do good. Like I clean my rock guards with it. I clean under my side skirts and some other places. It's basically good for tar, heavy grime, buildup. Another thing I wanted to point out about the all-purpose cleaner is if you ever have a dirty, disgusting engine bay, or if you have water in there left over from a wash or anything grimy, you want to take a throwaway towel and you can also use your all-purpose cleaner. It says on the website to clean your engine bay, so we're going to try that out real quick and I'll show you before and after. So we're about to spray the car off. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna have two buckets. You wanna have a grit guard in each bottom. There's the, that's at least the way I do mine. Um, you're gonna to wanna to have a rinse bucket, which I used my wheel bucket from previous. And I have three or four mitts in there that you're gonna to wanna to use because you're gonna to wanna to clean the top of your car and the bottom of your car. But besides that, I added a little bit of car soap and I added my mitts in there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to spray off the car initially, get as much grime off as we can, and then we're gonna foam it down using my MTM foam cannon and then the car shampoo from Detail Guys. All right, guys, so we had a little bit of a pressure washer malfunction. My hose busted. Um, anyway, let's get back to what's important. Um, today's been kind of a crazy day, so, you know, my uh, I've been kind of monotone. Well, it is what it is. But next, I'm going to take some car shampoo. I'm going to put about three to four ounces in here. It calls for about two to four ounces. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do. If you don't have a foam cannon, which in this case, I'm using the MTM, you can always use the traditional methods. Just put a little bit of soap in your bucket. I'm using a wash bucket and a rinse bucket um, with two grit guards. Um, they're yellow, of course. That's the way I roll. But anyway, let's get this going. I'm using a little bit more soap in the foam can. I'm gonna use about five ounces so we can do it for a cool foamy effect in the video. But anyway, uh, let's get started.
All right, guys, as you can see, the car is absolutely spotless. The only product I'm not trying today is the detail spray, which is what you would do to follow this up after I finish drying the car. I currently don't have any in stock. I'm used to using it all the time. I can say from personal experience, it works absolutely fantastic. Um, I get it, you know, in waves and stuff. So I'm currently waiting on my next order of detail spray. But um, right now we're going to take a look at the interior cleaner right after I dry the car off. Since I don't have any detail spray to follow up the drying of the car, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use the spray wax from Detail Guys. Um, I, I will do a little bit uh, about that now, right now. Okay, so the spray wax is a product, not to be confused with detail spray, but what spray wax does is it gives it like a slight coating and it's going to make it shine just the way detail spray was. The difference is it leaves a protective surface on there. That's what I'm going to do right now. I use spray wax pretty often on my car, probably about every three weeks or so. Um, just keeps a light, light coating on it. So right now I'm just going to finish that up right now with a little bit of spray wax. And lastly, we're going to use the brand new interior detailer, which is all new. It's so new, it doesn't even have a label on the back on instructions. But I did talk to the guy. He said, just use it like any other interior cleaner. You can spray any of your interior. It's good on leather, suede, and, you know, anything you have inside, like some plastics, metals, anything like that. And you should be good. So we're going to go ahead and demo that out and try it out. This is the products behind me, as you can see right here. Um, basically, um, I used a little bit more product than I should have. I was just doing a little overall test and making sure everything was great. Wheel cleaner, basically I used about a quarter of it just because I was doing a little extra and I told you, you didn't need to spray that much. The car shampoo, I always use a lot, but you can get several uses out of that bottle. All purpose cleaner, I did use about half of it. That's just because I was trying to demo it on everything and show you guys how much. Um, after one wash of the interior cleaner, I hardly used any. It was such a great product. It stayed on the rag and I was able to use it for the whole interior. It looks great. I used it on my suede, my leather, my screen, and everything else like that. It leaves not really a scent in your car. It leaves kind of like a like a fresh scent. And then spray wax. I've had this product for a while. I just got this, um, and I just used that to coat the car down. Um, that didn't come in the care package that he sent me this time. Great prices, great scents, great products. I've been using them for a while now, but some of that was some new stuff that I was just now trying out. Um, but Detail Guys, I think they're that they're the worth of money. But overall, I think it's a great product. I think Detail Guys is great. You know, I I did a product review on some detailing stuff a while back um, I plan on doing detail products and other products you know um, you know filming and reviewing and things like that but that's just because um, detail guys even though I'm sponsored by them I wanted to do a thorough review um, I'm not being biased based on the review because my credibility is everything on here um, basically why I chose detail guys as a sponsorship is because I have a lot of young people that follow me and a lot of people are wanting to be up and coming getting their own cars driving their first cars and then I don't want to be on a way out of pocket most of them are in high school you know most of these detail companies do about the same all their products really work you know some of them not that good some of them are really great over the top you know every detail company has specializes in one thing but they're all really just rebottling stuff but are you willing to spend hundreds of dollars you know a month on detailing products not really so I did choose detail guys as a sponsorship just because it is less money and easier on your wallet with that being said it is also a great product and you can use my discount to save you some money I do have a sponsorship for detail guys um, this was way before this video but you can use code yellow fellow all together it's gonna be in the link in the description it's gonna save you 15% off your order I don't I don't care whether you use it or not I was just trying to make this fun review if you don't buy anything just by the water is the wash because oh my god it smells like creme brulee I gotta say it's the best it was a cool video for me to make it was cool I was trying things with b-roll I don't know if you guys could tell if you've ever watched my previous videos I was trying stuff in this video let me know how I did thumbs up thumbs down but overall um, I spent all day doing this it takes twice as long to film doing things so be sure and leave me some positive feedback or leave me some constructive criticism letting know how you felt about the video if you're already subscribed to the channel or if you're returning let me know how this was compared to my other videos let me know if you like it let me know if you want me to go back to being crazy or whatever but I try I thought I would try something different um, also if you're curious about this shirt right here that says yellow fellow I am uh, selling merch on Teespring this is yay yellow fellow I got a couple different designs you can go check out and the links also gonna be in the description the back if you check this out I got just send it on the back 
Uh, it's me in upside down sunglasses. Looks about like this. So that's what it is. It's pretty crazy. But um, anyway, I'm rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think this detail review is going to go up on Detail Guys. So if you're watching this from the Detail Guys website, how's it going? It's Yellow Fellow. Great company. I have nothing but good things to say about it. But overall, very pleased with the products. I think they all did great. I think they smell great. I think the prices are great. I think they clean just as good as any other company, if not better. I'm proud to say that I'm a part of Detail Guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know how you felt about it. If you hated it, if you didn't like it, if you hate my face, if you don't want me to be in a video anymore, just let me know. But thank you guys so much for returning to the channel. Thank you guys for keeping the support up. And uh, thank you for watching my madness. Always keeping me pushing forward, man. You guys are the best. So anyway, until the next time, see you guys.